What's your name? I am Liam Thomas. I am the guitar player of Obsolescence. This angle looks like dog shit. Are you going to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That'll be a blooper reel, too. So the new EP is going to be dropping on September 29th. It's a four-song EP, um, and it is something that we have dropped. It's been about a year since we've dropped something. This new EP is definitely more so in the kind of just straight up death metal and hardcore kind of sound. It's a little more consistent, but I think it also bridges the best of both worlds. I think they're pretty good. That's like kind of what sold me on the band. Ben brought a couple songs to the table and then uh, you know we were all writing riffs and everything and then actually the way that the EP turned out was we got together um, and all wrote and, and put the parts kind of finalizing everything together as a group which is really fun which is really great. Um, everybody gets their own creative little out, uh, input on the project. I mean with the first two um, we tracked drums first um, with like scratch track guitars and then we would go do the bass, do the guitars, do the vocals. Like we did before, we recorded it all ourselves. Instead of it being in a dingy Philadelphia basement, we recorded it at the lovely Rockdale Music Studios in Aston, Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, we'll, we at least recorded drums here. That's what we did with this EP. I tracked drums here at Rockdale, and then we tracked bass and guitars vocals kind of the same deal just in a different space I mean we did everything direct we did everything almost like we how we play it live and everything else we recorded at my in my parents basement so obviously we're perfectionists so there was a lot of cutting up and pasting and, and doing things and making sure we were getting all the parts right it was a it was a mix of really fun really professional and at times infuriating because Ben I, I recorded my parts in Ben's basement and he has this ear for picking up every tiny mistake. And it's, sometimes it kinda, kinda got on my nerves a bit, but overall it really pushed me to get the best possible performance that I've ever recorded in my entire life. And I think it just sounds dope. Then send it out to get mixed. Yeah, we sent our mixes out to Adam Chachaki. We, we sent it out to be mixed by a guy named Adam Chaikaki. Yeah, we sent it off to Adam Chaikaki. I can't pronounce his last name, but his first name is Adam. Uh, and uh, if you can add text of his last name, I feel like I'd be disrespectful if I tried pronouncing it. I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. <laughs> One of the dopest mixing and mastering engineers in the East Coast, I would say. Dude did a phenomenal job with the mixes. They sound absolutely insane. They're just huge in your face. And uh, I think the production was a pretty noticeable step up as well. His experience alone put it to a whole nother level. If, if I wasn't on it, I would have thought it was some AAA metal band, to be honest. For Natural Violence in particular, it's four songs. We have Blood, Craving Purpose, You're Gutted End, Fed Up. I mean, I guess it started out with um, Blood, that song was already a thing by the time we finished up recording the first two EPs. Blood was written well before I joined, I think before Liam joined too. So it's an older song, we wrote it before Danny or Jake were even in the band, or even Liam for that matter. We wrote it when it was really just Damien, myself, and um, our two other original members. Another song that Ben brought to the table pretty much finished. We added things like ornaments and stuff like that, but nothing super drastic. Blood's a little bit messed up. It's kind of about murder. Uh, that's, I'm just going to leave it at that. To be honest, you got to redirect that question to Ben, because Ben's the one who wrote the lyrics. And uh, yeah, man, the dude really likes blood, I guess. What can I tell you? Uh, <laughs> far as I know, it's just about very violently murdering someone and fucking their lungs. Uh, <laughs> I like the song. I mean, I, I know the lyrics are... Uh... I don't really know what the lyrics are, honestly, so. <laughs> Your Gutted End um, was a song that Ben brought to us. Ben has a fuck ton of awesome song ideas. He's always coming up with something super cool. This is one that Ben brought to the table pretty much finished, uh, and then we kind of 
you know, again, sat down with it and made sure everything was finalized the way that we wanted it. Honestly, it was a throwaway song, but I really liked it. It was really heavy, and I thought everyone else would like it, and sure enough, everyone seemed to really like it. We uh, just kind of gave it a listen, and we were just like, wow, this is fucking dope. It's really short, but it's, you know, for what it is, it doesn't need to be any longer or shorter. It's just a quick little fast banger. Like 55 seconds total, I think, the track. So it's, again, extremely uh, relentless. But it's kind of about um, someone who doesn't have a lot of honor, I guess. And then, you know, I guess it's bad people get what's coming to them, I guess. <laughs> it starts off with this great punk feel to it, and then it turns into this weird intricate noise thing. I don't even know how to describe it. It's very short. That's probably the, honestly, the beginning section of that song is one of the harder, I feel like it's one of the harder parts to play as a band. Craving Purpose is the one song that we have that pretty much Liam wrote the entirety of that song. Craving Purpose, uh, that was actually one that I kind of had written a little bit. I had, a, I had some of the guitar riffs written myself. Craven Purpose, uh, that's the very, very first song I learned for the band. Liam came in with that song idea, but it was more of, it was a song, but it was really slow, and not all the riffs were sequenced like it is in the regular song. Brought it to the table, kind of completely different than what it is now. Uh, that was another thing that we, we sat down in a writing session together and finalized it and really thought about. This needs to be way faster, so we, we sped it up. Started off with a demo that Liam wrote of this. It's a, it, was, it originally sounded a lot more bluesy than it does, and a lot slower. And when we got to the point of like, it's a song, I, I brought up, I was like, dude, this is too slow on <laughs> the whole song. And so we basically bumped the BPM twice the speed. And then I was like, hey, let's take that riff and let me put a single foot blast beat under it. Lyrically, I, I believe it's just about just being annoyed with someone. It's one of my favorites off the EP. I'm very excited about it. Fed Up is my favorite song off the EP. Well, I had the idea, hey, let's let's make some ignorant beatdown music. I, I, Me personally, I really like stuff that's in lower tunings like drop G, drop A, drop F, that kind of stuff. Um, so I was like, give me the guitar. Damien came up with that first riff, and Liam and I were like, yeah, like that's fucking ignorant. Let's run with that. I was recording the, the first riff for that song, and then uh, Ben came about and did the 5-4 chug, at least I'm pretty sure he did. And then I was like, yo, let's just delete all rules. Let's go double drop D for the breakdown for no fucking reason. But I think my favorite part of the recording process for that song <laughs> is the intro. Anyone who plays that song will immediately just hear that it's just someone snoring and whistling. That, that, that's me. Uh, so while we were recording this song, um, I was really tired and I kept dozing off while we were in the fucking basement. So I was just like, yo, let me hop on the mic real quick. I'm just sitting here and going. And uh, Ben was like, yo, let's record that. And then we just soaked it with a fuck ton of reverb. I was, at the time, I was binge watching The Sopranos. And I had this idea of like how, you know, they hide bodies and, oh yeah, he, uh, he went in witness protection. He's, he's still alive, he's just going away. I don't know why I picked feeding a body to pigs, but I, it's brutal. And that was one that uh, Ben and I had a quite a few uh, FaceTime sessions really refining the lyrics and I it's it if I still had the rough draft I'd post it somewhere but it's just so much better than what I wrote the first time it's pretty pretty straightforward it's really just three riffs um, but it's as are all the other songs on the EP it's pretty uh, hard-hitting so it doesn't really let up the lowest tune thing that we've done so far, I think, uh, and a great way to just finish off the EP really heavy. I am stoked for this project to come out, honestly. It sounds, I think, bigger than anything that we have out so far. I 
I honestly think that I, I don't think it's going to skyrocket us to be you know the next big band of all time, but I can honestly see the CP going somewhere farther than when we are right now. I would like to think it would, but I'm not putting my eggs in a basket thinking like this is going to skyrocket, dude. I just know at the end of the day we all really enjoy what we did and we're all really proud of it, and we couldn't have done it without the help that we got from every single person involved. There's just something about this this recording process and this writing process that just it was a lot of fun. It was very relaxed, just kind of, we are just having fun with it. I'm not just saying this because it's new, it's the favorite thing I've ever worked on. And I'm, I'm just super excited for it to drop because I want to know people's thoughts on it. If something happens, great. If nothing happens, great. At least we all love it at the end of the day. I think people are going to see that when they hear it, they're going to see that, oh, these guys care. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope so. But if not, all good is what it is. Yeah, stream it now or else I'll find you <laughs> and do the things to you that are mentioned in blood. Check out the merch. Check out all the stuff where you can listen to the stuff. If you get hard copies of the the CD or that we have cassette tapes, you know, all the merch and stuff that we're going to have, you'll be able to check out the EP. If you buy the physical CDs and tapes, uh, there might be a little, little surprise at the end. Whether you've been supporting this project since the very beginning, or if you just found out about us the other day from a video on Instagram or YouTube or something, your guys' support really does mean the world because you, we can't do this shit without other people supporting and going out of their way to show love and appreciation for what we're doing um so for that uh thank you <laughs> thanks for listening and uh natural violence is probably out wherever you're from at this point at the time of upload is that a cassiopeia sticker on the back of your it phone is. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks, I just got into that band very recently. Dude, they're great. They really are fucking awesome, dude. <laughs>